What up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of the Uncensored Podcast. I'm your host, Slap Rock the King. And I'm in here with the Uncensored crew. Lil Honey is in the building. Welcome back, Lil Honey. How you doing? Hi. You good? I'm doing good. How doing you, well. How you feeling? I'm feeling I'm here. That's good. It's, it's so good to see you. We miss so you. High and mighty. Yeah, we missed you. Everybody was asking about you. Really? Yeah. They wanted to know Lies. what you was, They wanted to know what you was doing and you know. Well, we cut. Yeah. What convention? Tatiana convention. <laughs> so fucking much. You what? That's not where you was at? No, I wasn't in no Tatiana convention. I thought, no, you said, I thought you said you was, went down to South Carolina. <laughs> it was uh, the what, th- what the do, Festival. What do you people do at a Tatiana convention? What, what's on the menu? What's on the itinerary? Could you tell us? We've <laughs> never been. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, <laughs> brush your teeth so uh-huh. you can suck a dick. Hey, yeah. Floss, make sure you floss. floss. Extra cut from the between. Whoa. Do some chest pumps to make sure your titties is perky. Wow, How you okay. Do a chest pump? How you do that? Uh, or like Y'all can't see it, but, but it's like, this. It's like, like a, it's Kegels with your titties. Like people be doing with the pecs. And, and the boom, 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 boom. Right, that's why you're so fucking bougie. <laughs> well, hush, hush. Her shirt says that. Yeah. I know, just Big Juan, how you doing? How you feeling? Hi, how are you? I'm okay. You know, I'm I'm just glad to be here. I'm glad, glad to, to be here in the presence of you two wonderful people. We it's so happy to be around all you guys. Yes. You know, we missed you, Kyra. We really did. Yes. Right? Did you really on my dick? Like, oh, you get yeah. it? I get it. Oh, He's yeah. like, twice. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> fuck uh-huh. you off, my jock. <laughs> the fuck? We miss you. We miss you. We miss you. Okay. The fuck? <laughs> get off my shit. Oh, Damn my it. Shit. My bad, dog. My bad. Get off Whoa. my shit. <laughs> Tell me how much you miss me, I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. Let me step back, all right? I'm going to take a few steps back. I, I apologize. <laughs> 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 the work podcast, BLG, nigga, damn. I didn't read that in the email. I didn't read that in the email. I'm sorry about that. It was in the contract. It was in the contract. That made you sorry. I'm glad everybody's laughing right now, but I just want you guys to know that I'm really, really sad because I lost a lot of money. When I was <laughs> last night. Oh, I really? Bet, yeah, I, I bet it on the Golden State Warriors before all the injuries. So, oh, man. you did a bet that they were gonna take the series. I had a bet that they was winning the championship. Right, right, right. Yeah, oh, yeah. They didn't matter who they was playing. So I, I did bet on the Houston series, but I won money off that. But okay. I lost with this. And I, you know, shout out to Toronto. This is their first championship. Yeah, I, I think. That, I mean, yeah, I guess. Seventy something years, right? 70 no, 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 not seven. I don't. I know maybe twenty-seven or three. Right. They've been in Toronto. Never had. But so they haven't been. Uh, they wasn't all. They they've been in Toronto probably like thirty something years. Okay. Yeah. Cause Steph Curry dad. Play for the rap. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why Drake had that jersey on that one game. Oh. Yeah, it wasn't for Seth Curry. Yo, Drake? 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 He's not. I love it. I'm you all for the Drake shit in here. overkill the way he acted when, um, oh, wait, when KD went out. <laughs> <laughs> I thought like it was good TV. Yeah, he, he's so he extra. That Degrassi, that, yeah. that character dad. So. <laughs> He's, Drake is, uh, I don't know, it's sad for me to talk about Drake more than the players. But shout out to Kyle. He's from Philly, North Philly. Yeah, shout out to Kyle for that. That's, that's what he's from, North Philly. You know, he was fucked up. North. North. He was fucking up. He fucked up in game five. He made me mad, but yeah, game so, six, so they so was able to do what Toronto, they needed to do. Toronto really basically only won because KD won there. And then they lost Clay. Yeah, that was just. It was just, it was just meant for Toronto to win. Right. Like, it, everything that could happen for them to win happened. I'm just glad, though. Somebody wants to see somebody different when I want to see the same winner all the time. If the Eagles won fucking three years. Yeah, I'm well, not, because that, right, that's don't my be, t- Don't be biased, all right? Just being biased right now. All right, let me. fucking Eagles or the Sixers won three years in a row, you're going to be like, yeah, let's go for four. Exactly. <laughs> I, be, I don't think I would be as hyped after the third. I mean, like, that's but right. I, I would want it. I want it, but I'm not gonna be all right. Like how but I like, for the first 
That yeah, that first one is always like that's gonna be. Insane. That's like when you had your first baby. Right. Let me because I still tear up. <laughs> I was watching the clip the other day and the tears was oh, you rolling never, up. Never knew. No. no, right? <laughs> of, of the yeah. Super Bowl. That, that uh, how about you talking about? <laughs> no, I thought you talking about going too. No. Like you still got that clip. <laughs> uh, I thought she was on my side. Yeah. She started crying because yeah, of this. I, still that. <laughs> I was like, it wasn't just me. Yeah. <laughs> no, I really, really thought you were talking about doing. But you know what? I think I, you know, that because I'm laughing at y'all shenanigans. kids. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously, because I, I that first win, it was like, it is it is special. I agree. I feel like, yes, I'm with you if we win every year. But that first one, after a long time, that feeling is. It's definitely going to always be special, especially if they never won one. Right, 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 right. Yeah. So, yeah, I see why Toronto, I mean, look, Toronto played great basketball. They played great defense on Steph. But, you know, they had a lot of stuff to deal with. Every, every you can think of was injured on Golden State, but it's not taking away nothing from Toronto because they played really fucking good. Um, I had I had almost two fifty. I had two fifty on this oh series, so I'm really upset about that. That's a lot of money. Yeah, it is, especially Four when for a fucking look. I know if Kevin Durant and Clay played th- every game that. Toronto definitely would have lost. You saw what Kevin Durant did in 11 minutes. Cooking. He was – did you see that? No. That's I the did. one part that I had – How I you didn't see it? was the first – right It was the first no, day no, of but quarter. listen, I flipped to something. I was like, I'm going to just come back. Cause, and then, of course, as soon as so I came back is channel. when he went out the game. So you changed the channel for 11 minutes because he was only in the game for 11 listen, minutes. I'm, when I came back, it was literally they were showing the replays of what just happened. I no, you, like, changed it, you changed it for a, a long time because uh, it happened in the second yeah, quarter. No, I – I don't know when it. No, I'm telling you, it happened no. in the second quarter. So you didn't just change the channel. Oh from no, basketball. no, I didn't say that. I turned to s- and watched something else, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "I'll be right back." That's what I'm saying. You yeah. didn't come right back. <laughs> pause. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. Why does gotta be a pause? Why that couldn't be a nipple? Huh? What? Why couldn't it be a nipple? Why I gotta pause it? I don't know. Why you say pause? Cause you said come right back, I'll be in there. Uh, That's not plausible for me. Coming on the back. Oh, I didn't say come on my back. Coming on the back. I guess we could do that now. (laughs) So anyway, (laughs) shout out to my coworker who got two hundred fifty dollars from me. Oh, it was just one bet. It wasn't a multitude of fifty dollar bets. (laughs) One person. He couldn't. We we bet heavy, and he couldn't wait to text me. Well, he he texted me and sent me a message on Facebook at the same time. (laughs) (laughs) He's like, "Bing, bing!" I was like, "I know it was him, man." I bet somebody won your fifty dollars. It was my my homie, and then when we won, I went right. Was it basketball or what? I think it was the Eagles. When we won, I went right because I'm a I'm an Eagles fan. Oh, you bet on Super Bowl? No, not Super Bowl. It was like oh. a, ran, a random game. But I don't never bet the boys because they always bet each other on at the house. They, you know, they do that shit. But I was just want to get in on the bet. So when I won, you know my petty ass right on Instagram. <laughs> and said, Run me my fucking money. I can hear you saying that. <laughs> I did. I did. <laughs> Literally. All right, so listen. We're going to take a break. I'm going to try to recoup from this loss. <laughs> <laughs> from this loss. That's a lot of money that I didn't That's have. That's a lot of money. I'm salty as shit right now. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Don't bet on no shit no more. Anyway, we'll take a quick break. This is the Unsister Podcast right here on Water Ice Radio. Hello, and we're back with Juan Says. Welcome back, everyone. You, you ready? Yeah. Okay, you guys Juan Says. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Hello, everyone. I want to know what makes a man a man or a husband material. Asking for myself. I am 26. We have three kids together, but I realized that I never had time to focus on myself in my career. I want, I want that so much now, and as I am getting to that, we are arguing more and more, 
and he's constantly blowing up and yelling, breaking things, and I don't feel like I can say, I, like I can't say anything to him because he might take it the wrong way. It's like he gets defensive and I tell him that, I tell him a lot that I'm not his enemy. We, we are actually engaged, this is so weird. <laughs> I'm reading it exactly the way it's, I'm like, wait a minute. I don't proofread these guys, I don't. Clearly. <laughs> I do love him, but I do feel that he can be inconsistent when it comes to providing in his temperament. And this work, is this workable or a thing, or is it absolutely not workable? Tell me as, I, as if I was your sister or cousin or best friend, because honestly, I don't know what to do. I have no woman, no women to get advice from, and I'm sure Slap will keep it real from a man's point of view. <laughs> Thanks in advance, Nye. Y'all want me to read it again? No. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Basically, so she, she wants to know, yeah, what if 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 her? I don't know if she wants to know necessarily <clears throat> what we think is husband or man material. <sighs> Or whether we think that her man is husband or man material, right. or, or you that? know whatever. But I don't want to go because I don't want to tell her what. So as all right, yeah, because she said tell her as a sister, cousin, or best friend. So girl, now nah, listen, as my BFF or yeah. my best friend or my cousin, what I'm gonna tell you is like you need to leave him alone because yeah, like because he's getting upset with you, throwing stuff. His temperament is going shit. back and forth. And um, he said, like, she want to focus on her career and stuff. She only 26. They got three kids together. Mm, I don't know. Maybe <laughs> maybe she should. Um, maybe she sh I don't know. Y'all might have to have a conversation because I don't want to tell y'all to break up because you're engaged and you have three kids together. But you are 26. Right. That's young as shit. Ooh, geez. Oh, so maybe you should have slowed down, sis. Just try to work <laughs> things out, you know. <laughs> Be together, chill, and then come back and circle back to the wedding. Don't get married just yet. You gonna put that on pause for right now, little nah, 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 so nah, nah. You, put it on so pause what do you think and he come is back. Missing under the man category that you under the man category. And what is he doing that's not husband material in your eyes to tell her to put it on pause? <laughs> well, really, I can't honestly grasp the full information that she gave in this letter. Yeah, it got, it was. Cause it was like all over the place. It was, but, but she made I some mean, clear points me, about his character. His character is what I was going to say. <clears throat> I wasn't going to use character, but um, is what I would say is the thing that makes him more, he's not husband material based on the character. Well, depending on what type of person you want as your husband. So for me, no, he wouldn't be husband material, but he could be somebody you smash him with. And clearly he's your baby father. So, you're going to have to take some time and sit back and think, is this somebody who you want to spend the rest of your life with? And that's pretty much it. Because from my point of view, he is not husband material. He is just part-time material. That's mm -hmm. what Juan says. I feel like for me, the argument is not a big deal if you have a solid mouth back. So if you can <laughs> handle... <laughs> <laughs> so you tell her to be petty, right? Yeah. Go back up. A right. solid, can you a solid mouth back. Solid mouth, yeah, solid. Is that nasty? No. <laughs> no, I'm just, I feel like, oh. I can take somebody with a, with a mouth because I, I'm I'm here. So you can out talk me, I can out talk you. So Because I'm out here. I'm just saying because middle. I think it depends on what can you handle. Because mm. him throwing shit. Oh, he love me. Long as he don't, <laughs> oh, he'll throw me. He said he love me though. Right. And he fucking paid for whatever he broke. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't think he's that bad from what she said. I think she needs to decide what is going to be her her nose. But for me, a man's man is somebody that just leaves the home. <clears throat> is he paying the bills? Is he making sure everything in the house is fixed? Is he making sure that you and your kids are safe? That sounds like that could be a husband, but a man's that's what I'm saying, man. That's a man's man safe. A man's man should be. Um, that might be different because some men are just men, but they might not be husband. Material. Yeah, because a man's man can be a somebody man, that's but just not know how to fix shit. Yeah, yeah. Husband, you're right. Husband material is what I would say was what I was saying before. A man's man is somebody that can fix around the shit, take the trash out, but you might not be loyal as hell. No. You might not, might not communicate, mm -mm. so there's some, some of the things that I think are important. It's different for everybody, because what you want in a... Because that's why I said she wasn't really clear in the letter as to what we should focus on more, because we don't know what she likes, 
what she wants in a man, what she wants in a husband. Right. So to me, I can only go by off of what she's saying and how I feel. And to me, he isn't what I would see as husband material or a man for me. Right. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Oh, she just looking for acceptance. Like, she wants y'all to co-sign her bullshit because she know what type of man, she know what type of man well, she why got. Why I be bullshit? Because, did you listen to the letter? <laughs> <laughs> like. She knew you was going to say that. I don't even know why you went to his fucking advice. And she asked for your advice. Well, because I'm going to keep it real. You you know if you're dealing with a dickhead or somebody who has flaws in certain areas, you know that. You, you That shit just don't happen. So you want to accept it, but damn, let me just see how far along this bullshit can go with my girlfriend. Girl, yeah, he he is looking for a job. He, he never looks for a fucking job. <laughs> he, take, he, he will pick up Raheem, yeah, in the Uber. You know what I'm saying? So how much of his bullshit... You you willing to deal with, but you want to see if you if other people will accept it. What she's saying in this letter, it it, it shows a, a a man and a husband qualifications. Which one do you want? Mm. Which one do you want? Well, which one was the man part? Was, which one was the husband part? She got to read it again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that shit. Right off the bat, nigga, I ain't write this shit. <laughs> which part it was? The husband part. That part. <laughs> I'm just saying, even though I'm not looking for a husband, I definitely am looking for a man's man. I want somebody that I can call over to take my trash out. But you out. just said what I said. You already know what you want. Yeah. You you want a man's man. I want somebody that I can call or that when they're, even when they're at my house, I feel safe with them. I always want to feel <clears> safe <throat> with somebody. And men don't understand that you can make a woman not feel safe by just your lack of confidence. It just... That shit should just be able to be seen like, no, you don't got to die on a cross for me, but I should feel like. Ho, 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 ho. Don't use nothing from my religion. Sorry, I'm just. I didn't even know. So, sorry, I apologize for all. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. But no, what I'm saying is, I feel like, you know, women think like, some a guy was to me one time, we had to walk on the outside of you because if a car comes, I'm supposed to die first. Right. Right. But like, but that's the mindset of a me. You know, wait, wait. What's this say, though? Wait, wait. You never heard of that? Say, no, say it again. Was, all I heard was, right, right, because on the other side of me, because I'm going to die for you. That's, that's, all, I that's all I heard. But all right, so when you are walking down the street with a man, right. he's supposed to walk on the outside of you, two right. close to the street. Right. Why is that? What's the reason behind it? Because if a car hopped how, the curve, it hit him. First, that's right. what I meant. Right. Oh no, it, I'm not disputing that. I just didn't hear what you said. Yeah, because it sounded like you said you would die first. No, no. I went to a whole zone and I was thinking no, about. No, I was a just saying that because people make the assumption that men are supposed to put themselves in front of a woman at all times, and that's a man's man, right? That's and that's a husband too, though. I agree. The difference I think between the man's man and a husband is that the man's man can be your friend, somebody just a manly person that just has those strong leading male qualities. A husband. Has to have that, but also the communication, the loyalty, and those other things. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. More of a Here's the important part of the letter, because I just went back through it again. It says she wants to know if her situation is workable or a thing that is a absolutely no. No, it's she don't give enough information about. Yeah. The no, but it's work. How, how long have they been together? You want to say? What'd you say about six years or some shit like that? Um. Or three years. No, actually, it doesn't. They've been say. engaged. No, she says they're engaged. They're twenty six and they have three kids. Oh, okay. Three kids. Okay, they twenty six and she got three kids with them. Come oh, on, already? Come That's on, crazy. Come yeah, on, what does that say already? Come on. What? Yeah, that hopefully might... it's the set of twins and another child or something because that's too. That's it's too it's workable much. if you want it to be workable. Right. You, she you doesn't want it. She don't out. want it to be workable. She. No, she's you know okay. She she's okay with what it is. Like I said, she if if I can get two other people to agree with me saying that this bullshit is all right, then maybe in my mind what I'm thinking is not so bad at all. No, you know she wants us to tell her it's not the right thing to do. Here's the key line. 
I'm 26 and we have three kids together, but I realized that I never had time to focus on myself and my career. She went out. Yeah, she wanted to give herself a reason. Now. Yeah. All right, now, so break up with him. And it, it's not that easy. You but, know, it's not. Because <laughs> you got three kids. You know, try to, try to, I don't know. But, yeah, she definitely went out. 26, three kids, she probably ain't, ain't she even been a, like she probably ain't been to Cancun or nothing. <laughs> Can't no, can't Luckily, she you. ain't been to DR. Atlantic City and um, she's still alive. Poconos, yeah. Don't you know? I stayed at that resort, right? Oh yeah. I told y'all that. Mm-hmm. Okay, my bad. That's was, okay. Kyra wasn't here though. Oh yeah, you was down South Carolina. <laughs> I, I heard the show. Oh. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> don't don't go down there. All right. I mean, go just be safe. And I think what they were saying a lot of it. Don't go there. The don't drink the liquor in the room. So you're the, saying somebody has said something about the people, people not liking Americans, so they because you know how people how want to pour it in like, over there. I'm like, but it's not. We don't have nothing to do with how your bosses treat you on that resort. Like, why are you trying to blame us? Why yeah. are you putting the one lady said that she was there last year and she drank, opened up the soda, didn't have fizz to it, and it started burning her mouth. I'm like. You know, why would you open up and put bleach or whatever stay at the resort? What do they got to do with it? People that are evil that want to kill other people. Who knows? Wow, know. so they put bleach. Yeah, that's, that's the situation that's happened in DR. And I think now that the, the police are going to try to pull blood for those people <clears throat> and test out if, you know, there's any poison in their uh, mm. blood. So with that said, now... You're gonna have to figure it out for yourself, boo, because as your Y'all cousin no, as your cousins, Y'all your best friends, no and your sisters, the what the fuck your sisters that? and your brother. <laughs> <laughs> that damn sure did. Why did it say a motherfucking you know, thing? Can't, you sorry. We can't we can't really help you, boo boo. Don't put me in that shit. I gave We told answer. you, like we keep it a real <laughs> as your family. With, little honey sis. <laughs> <laughs> no, I told her that she's gonna have to figure it. She she it, it's clear no, after she, going back through it, she wants to to focus on herself yeah. and her career. She just need to got. She so just gotta be to honest either, with him. You're gonna either have to tell him. You're gonna have to man up and be the man that you need him to be, so that you can be with him, take care of these kids, and get your career together. Or you're gonna have to move on. Ah. And with that That's being quick. said, that? yes, that is. We're gonna take a quick break, y'all. We'll be right back. World Ice Radio Uncensored Podcast. Hi. We're back with the Love Me Down segment. Let and me love you down. Yes. Mm-hmm. So, you know, the topic actually, maybe under right under that umbrella. So, I want to know, can you <clears throat> be friends with your exes? Is that a possible healthy relationship that you can have? Like a real healthy friendship? Yes. Why is that? <laughs> How do you think, like, I think it just depends. Even the strongest, like an ex husband. Yeah, I'm. Ex-husband. I'm really good. And, and actually, here's a a great example. My son's father and I are really good friends. Right? He is like he helps me out with way too much stuff. And I'm, like yesterday, my car wouldn't start. Right? And I've texted him and one of my other friends, just saying, not another guy, a girlfriend of mine. I was just texting. I was like, my car. I'm sitting in the car, like my car won't start. So I tell him what it said on the thing when I tried to start it because this car came on, but the engine just wouldn't start. And I thought my battery died again like it did before. So he Googled what I said and told me to go and get my spare key and try to start my car up again with the spare key. And that shit worked. (laughs) All because we're good friends. (laughs) Like if I didn't have a good relationship with him outside of, you know, we have us having a child together. Why would I even, because usually if something goes wrong, I'm like, he's in the line of the people that I would call for situations and not on some because we're still messing with each other type of situation because he's one of my best friends. So Is he one of your best friends or is he just your baby father with a really good relationship? Oh, like, girl. think about it. Mm, like, would you even... be friends with him if y'all know what's in the room? Would you still be friends That's with him after breaking up? I mm. don't, like, I don't know. And the, reason why, why, the ex- reason why I'm going to say I don't know. Are different for me. Mm-hmm. You, you're right about that because I'm not sure. You're right. right. I'm really not sure. Like because right now, I'm angry with my baby father. So mm. I, I'm 
angry with her. We don't want to do that. I'm, I'm not even. I'm not even sure because I don't know if we would have a reason to really like. We were really good friends right. initially, before, and I, before our relationship began, mm -hmm. and we had a good friendship that we developed prior to that. But I don't know actually because it is different. But mm, I don't know. You gotta be now. I gotta think about that. Right. Flat. Can you be exes friends with your exes? Oh, but I still say yeah, though. You can be. I mean, yeah, it's possible. It, the only problem would be if if the person is in a relationship. Which one? Whoever whoever got the ex. If the dude got the ex or if the girl got so the ex. So if you were in a relationship, you wouldn't be able to be friends with your ex? It, de it depends. I mean, it depends on your situation. So, certain females have a problem with it. Certain females don't. Right. You can be friends with your ex outside of not being in a relationship but if you are in one i mean that that would be a problem those are the ones i think i'm even looking for more because i feel like being single and being friends with ex is different than being in a relationship and having a friend be a, <clears throat> a ex so i think to me that's where the question really comes into play even more because that's the harder decision because if you are real friends like you say cause it's like for all of us, we want to be friends with people. We want to we want to have our friends be our lovers and our lovers be our friends. So I think, especially with me, every guy I date, I feel like it's usually a good friend of mine. But I'm always never really in a serious relationship to really test that friendship. And I think that's when the test really becomes, is he really my friend or is he still cool with me because the pussy is an option? Or is he still cool to me because I, I don't bring no... I don't bring no headache to his world because I'm just a friend. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? Because would he be cool with me to go through my life shit with my husband? Like, that's a different type of level of friend, right? We have some guy friends who I have a guy friend who I've never slept with. He, right now, is the only guy that can help the, that can actually come into whatever life I create with another man and know that he never fucked me. You see what I'm saying? Thank you. Thank you. I, I didn't know you were going to tell people about that, about us. <laughs> <laughs> thanks thanks Kyra but oh. I'm just saying you, right. but that's a difference right right yeah it's so big like difference. how many people I can bring and I can bring my whole football group I ain't never fuck with none of them so they can all come but outside of the football group and other people I know through association of work and shit like that that I haven't slept with <laughs> um, a couple of them <laughs> you know I um, gotta say you all to three of them because I really because wasn't thinking that deep. being a friend in the regular world <clears throat> That's easy. You had nobody that you're competing with. So if he's mad at you, if he's not mad at you, there's nobody there on the other side to get those feelings, right? That I had to worry about. But it's, a, it's become more of an issue when you're in a relationship. And it came up because my girlfriend, she's in a, she was in, her, her ex-girlfriend is in a relationship and the, the ex-girlfriend don't want them to be friends and they still talk to this day. And I'm like, but then she has to sneak around and talk to you when she really just wants to be your friend, but the ex is not having it. You see what I'm saying? So that's what made me think about it. Because I'm like, she wants this friendship to stay, but her ex is against it. So now she, it's like she cheating, having a side cheating relationship. Because they're not doing anything. They're not sex, you know, there's no sex involved or feelings like that. But for her to even text her, she has to go around her girl. You know what I mean? So you're cheating. <laughs> so I'm just saying, I think, right. so you're saying no if you're in a relationship, but you're saying yes. Well, I don't know now because you got me all like, well, damn. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you're making me think all extra. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's the second question around, making you think extra. Like, <laughs> I'm going to get y'all my question. Yeah, you yeah. kill her. Okay, Gail. <laughs> okay, Gail. <laughs> I'm a hog tie. <laughs> I'll be friends with my ex. <laughs> Uh, let me think here. Oh, shit. I think it's possible because there's <laughs> always somebody who is, there's always an exception to, well, not always, but there's an exception to some rules. So it is possible, but out of the exes that, you know, I'm thinking about, that would be the only ex that <laughs> would be still, because I tried to be friends with one of my exes and. What happened? <sighs> what happened? My bad. <laughs> he. He just becomes annoying as fuck. Like you, I'm like, you can't yeah. keep calling me. Like, stop right. calling me. I had to block him and oh, shit like wow. that. So it's just like, you blocked no. him? Yeah, I blocked. I blocked. 
And let me tell you how I, I forgot. Wow. I, try, I like he had a new number, and then we had started talking a little bit again, thinking that we could be cool. This motherfucker gonna call me and ask me <laughs> to go to some concert with him. I was like, no. What was wrong what? with that? No, yeah, I, mean, whoa, whoa. No, I can't. I don't, I don't, listen, no, let me tell y'all something. That's because y'all don't know the no, background. Right, we don't know. History. We don't have time to get into that. What kind of concert was it? I'm though? not telling y'all because then people who's listening to this will be able to figure out who I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> so I'll tell y'all later. But it was very annoying. I was just like, can't satisfy. I gotta you, block brother. you again. I mean, for me, he wants to take to a nice concert. Saying friends with my exes, is they kind of feel like. They always can have a piece of you because you keep your door that door open. But I don't keep, no. I ain't keep that door open with him at all. I don't even but know. I feel like ain't I, nobody gonna feel like that if you don't give them the feeling that I that do. door open. So, oh, that's the problem. <laughs> so you. T- so it ain't his fucking fault. It is. That's called <laughs> entrapment. <laughs> it's called entrapment, motherfucker. Do you have an ex that can that you can still they can still have you when they want? Mm. Do you have? A, look at me, my eyes. Look at me, my lips. Oh, I thought you was. I thought Juan was answering. Yeah, I thought. I thought. I thought, I thought, I thought you were switching it up. Yeah, what? Oh. Do you have an ex that can have you whenever she wants? No. In. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, when she when she want like you know, nobody got no power over me like that. Ooh. No pussy guy. Just let the people know. None. None of y'all, y'all heard speaking. what you said, right? Mm-mm. This nice sister speaking. <laughs> <laughs> y'all heard what you said, right? Ain't nobody got that pussy Showing power. Over. No, no. Nah. There's no girl can call you and be like, what you doing? <laughs> you know how they be like, what you doing? Um, and be like, I'm no, chilling. Chillin'. Yeah. Can you come through? <laughs> you Look like, at me. You you say no? Yeah, can't nobody, nobody got that power with me like he that. He said, look, there's nobody that look you want to still me. fuck like that. Eh? You can just, you know what I mean? She still, all right, well, let me switch up. Is there any ex that you think you can have when you want? Because I feel like y'all think that shit. No, oh, I don't think oh, that need. I don't. Honesty. No. Okay. Yeah, no. On says. Oh, I already went. You ain't say shit. <laughs> do you um, have an ex that you think yes. you can still get if you want? I don't know. If, well, yeah, that person probably <laughs> that I was just talking about, but Even I don't if want you block him. the nigga that's about to take you to the yeah, I think concert. So. Yeah, Cause but he, I don't want him though, so I don't make my. Why is it so bad that you make, he like, make no. you sick? Like, no, he, no, he, it's, it's he make like you that. sick? No, he don't make me sick. So what is the issue with him? What's the issue with him? Because you seem very it's, disturbed. You seem very your disturbed. your whole face is upset every time you speak about him. I only spoke about him two times. <laughs> and, and, and every time it was very, <laughs> up, it was, it was every, very upsettable. Um, <laughs> no, the first time when I said something about him, <laughs> it was just the fact that he was just, he just draws. <sighs> But um, the second time when I just made that face, why are you so picky? That's the only person I'm not picky. But my thing is like, what is wrong with going to a concert? Actually, I'm gonna say I that. Have to tell you, can y'all, the y'all gotta, tell me? It's, I shouldn't have brought that up because it's gonna sound bad. It does. It sounds not, really bad. I'm, t- I'm telling y'all, it sounds dumb as shit it. that you didn't go on a concert. Person, if, if y'all knew this person, you would be like, oh, you couldn't go to no concert. Riri, you gonna have to block that out again. See you. <laughs> oh, he, you can't say Riri. You, you, you went can't. too far. You can't say Riri. That's somebody name, Ray, Rayana. <laughs> Riri, that's Why Rayana. Fuck up everything. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the niggas can't. All right, so um, yeah. I'm sorry about that. Um, airwaves. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna take a quick break right here. Water Ice Radio, Uncensored Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of the Answers of Podcast. I am your host, Slap Rock the King, and now it's time for our lovable asshole of the week. And um, this is very touching to me. <laughs> this is like when I really lose my fucking marbles. Mm, daily? <laughs> Whenever it happens, it's like it always happened to me. And you got people who hold up lines. 
Like, I hate people that go, like, the CVS with a cart full of shit in CVS. CVS is not for that shit. That oh, they do shit. it. Don't let it be midday. <laughs> Listen, That's a whole person going to be in there. Why are there. you, why did you ride past Whole Foods <laughs> to go to CVS, Not though? just Whole Foods. Whole Foods, Giant. Giant. <laughs> Shop right. It was an Acme about two blocks down and come why all the way do here to do, do that. Shopping. I hate people that just go shop. Why is you going shopping at the poppy store? I hate that. I hate that. First of all, Bobby Stewart shit is overpriced. Like, way overpriced. Right. Listen, they had. I was just in the Poppy store the other day. I just, something just said, let's see how much this costs. I wasn't going in here to buy it, but the damn cat food cost six dollars and some. Out. I said, mm. who the hell is kind of you cat. must really need? What kind of cat they cat got? Right. You come Heathcliff. <laughs> it was <laughs> Tiger. Now I could have went with a lion, but this <laughs> motherfucker said Heathcliff. Because you said a cat. <laughs> He says, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Heathcliff. You don't know who Heathcliff is? He, he's a bougie cat. You so know I'm how you sure. got Garfield and Heathcliff? Oh. They were, Heathcliff was like more of an alley cat. Yeah, Garfield and Garfield was, was not. A, <laughs> he, was, uh, he was from Uptown. <laughs> he made out never get these references. Yeah, that's you're fucked not, up. You're man. not. Nothing. Never mind. You are a yeah, bit. so you ignorant people that hold up the lines, I wish you stopped and I. Even if you old, like you, you, I mean, you should know better. Like you should, especially when the light specifically says eight items or less. Right. <laughs> less. Like, who has two but cards? Who's counting the items? Like who's there to kick you off the station? See, Nobody. You, she one of the people that's messing it up. I, I who's counting? You the a items? fucking no, draw no, box. Real, real shit. I don't like food shopping. I'm the person that food shops every day to get that meal because I only got that meal that I needed that night. I hate doing it. I don't believe you because you said who's counting the items. No, no, so you the person that got a whole cart no, of food I I in the self checkout line. I hate food <laughs> every day. Yo, two three times a week. Stop oh. holding up the lines because okay, if you do that shit again, anybody, <laughs> and you're in front of me, we're gonna have a problem. I don't care if you old. I don't, I don't care. You wanna knock the stuff out the cart? I, I might. Push like the emergency thing on a wheelchair so they can go fast. (laughs) 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 That's what I might do. All right. um, So the topic that I have is, um, what do you think people get out of telling other people who they slept with? I think for. I think for some women, it's like... Oh, I want, I'm glad you went with them first. I think it's a little bit of like a bragging thing. You, Some women want you to know that you ain't the only nigga she can get. Oh, you mean to each other or to yeah. the opposite sex? I don't think about to the opposite sex. Right. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. What, I don't think that's what you thought she was going to say. I thought she was going to... I think she... I think no, no, no. She I, I'm glad she... Between. No, no, no. Okay. No, I'm glad she went where she was going. Yeah. I feel like women do that. Mm-hmm. We want to. We want a man to know because some of y'all be so cocky, like uh, I'm that nigga, and I need nigga, like I'm nigga. I fuck with Michael Jordan. Right? But yeah, women want niggas to know, like I'm Michael that B. Bitch. Jordan. So you don't want to. You don't. You can't fuck. You can't say like ninety names. You gotta say a good solid two and a half. Like niggas that he might know, but two not, but don't know. <laughs> like, he can't be the homie, but he gotta just be known around the way. But not even right away, but just know. You want that nigga to know, like I don't. Oh, I don't want nobody. What to about know. Women, like women telling other women too? We mean, like, oh, they hate it. Easy. If I'm telling this bitch, so you don't fuck her. Me, I like to share, so I be like, go ahead and fuck her. <laughs> but chew applause. I'm just saying because real shit. If there's some good dick out here, it's grab back. But no, I think most women say it because you want to hate, you block it. Because women think like they talk to everybody that nobody else is talking to. Bitch, y'all was on FaceTime two times. So then he off the market. Hello. But I, I probably don't because I don't like to mess with But I think I mean, a lot of women uh, try to talk to every fucking body. Stop trying to change uh, the subject. I don't want to. That's why I just felt, and you know, I restrained. Oh. From uh, Refrained. <laughs> <laughs> restrained myself, but refrained from asking the question that I was going to segue she into. She is also an English major. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I don't know. I don't know what people get out of that because I don't feel like I necessarily want to be telling everybody that. And normally, if if I bring up something like that, it's because somebody asks me or we have a conversation about it. But I'm not normally the one out here like, oh yeah, because um, back in '83 when I was three, before mm. y'all say something smart, mm. <laughs> let me just change that. Back in '93, <laughs> so you. um. I yeah, I used to mess with him. I smashed him a couple times. I don't do that. That's none of your business. <laughs> but I mean my girlfriends, we might talk about stuff like that, but I really don't have the need to be telling cuz I feel like cuz I in my head <laughs> in my head I would be like, "Am I hating?" cuz I know I see you. I see you doing it cuz I would, and, and from this day forward, your voice would probably pop into my head where I'll be like, "Oh, I'm not saying nothing." <laughs> right, right. Cuz I feel like even if I know somebody that that is mutual friends with somebody who I might like, and I, if I was messing with them, I would be like, oh my God, like, no. Do I have to say something? <laughs> type right, of situation, right. you know, so. I don't want, um, I kind of, I, 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 I agree with uh, Kyra, because I, I think some men and women do it for like bragging rights, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? See, you know, who can get who, or something like mm-hmm. that. Then you got other motherfuckers who just plain hating. You know what I mean? You, y'all out together, and it's, and she just walk up, girl, you know I'm fucking such and such, right? Like, damn, bitch, you didn't even say hello. That's how you talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even speak to me. You just talking about. I, but she put it out there because she wanted yeah. you to know. You know what I'm saying? I, I see a lot of guys do this, too, like oh, which yeah. is unbelievable. Because most because, women are not going to fuck the home. Right. Like, even me. Like, I try not to fuck the home. Like, you try not to love yeah. the crew. Sometimes you might get, if it's, a never, group of, if it's a group of seven, you might get two and a half. I ain't never fucked the crew. I just had anxiety about that. Two and a half. You know, one person got a dick sack. Exactly. Exactly. Like, what did so, you mean in the half that you just? Because you said that. that's why I said you the said same thing. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, why? Right, see, that's a half. <laughs> if it's oral, it's just a half. Oh, it, it, got the oral. it ain't the it ain't the combined Ugh, thing. See, that's why. Yeah. So no, nah, I mean, I, pe- that's why certain people do it. Somebody just want to have a one up on somebody. Somebody want to make somebody jealous. Or, you know, oh, just, yeah. you know, people who like to be uh, celebrities when they not. Mm. You know what I mean? They they, they 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 want that spotlight, but you ain't they ain't really built for it. So word. Stop hating. For real. You know, just try to uh, swag a little different. Don't hate. Don't, don't hate. Be, don't be a player. I mean, be a player, not a hater. Don't crush a lot. Don't crush a lot. Yeah. Word. Word. I like how y'all did that. It was <laughs> like a, it was like a locks moment, like kiss style, <laughs> chic. <laughs> I felt like you were chic. I was chic. Cause y'all the same complexion. Yeah. See, see, you thought I was about to be smart. All right, y'all. So we um we're about to get out of here. Shout out again to the Toronto Raptors. Uh, I lost a lot of money. Shout out to our sponsor, Love Jones. Hey, if you go on Love Jones um, Instagram and you order a bottle of wine, if you put in uncensored, it will be five dollars off. Jill, Ooh, y'all Jill. hear that? Jill, Jill, we got a special call. Jill. Big business, Big uncensored business. podcast. Is Hello, uncensored podcast or just uncensored pod? I believe it's podcast. Okay. <laughs> we go check. Well, our Instagram is uncensored pod. <laughs> Even though you'll, you know. Yeah. yeah. That's a good deal, yeah, we baby. We got to put that out there. It's yeah. worth it. It's worth it, too. It certainly is. Clank, clank. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah, thanks to our sponsors. Thanks to everybody who listens and watch every week. Make sure you share and follow. You can follow us on all streaming platforms. I'm Slap Rock the King. I'm in here with the Uncensored crew. We catch y'all guys next week right here on Water Ice Radio. Beep, beep.